Well, the Cleveland Orchestra has fired two of its highest ranking musicians following allegations of sexual misconduct. Concert master William Prusil and principal trombonist Massimo LaRosa were let go after an independent investigation. Channel 3's Lena Lai is live in the newsroom tonight. And Lena, the report says this misconduct has been going on for years. Yeah, dating back to 1996. In fact, the report says involving at least 19 women, potentially more, two of them 17 years old. Along with the findings, we found court records tonight showing how far one of them went to silence accusations. But we enjoy being here. We enjoy being with, here with each other and we enjoy making music with each other. But not everyone enjoyed their time with concert master and violinist William Prusil. After interviewing more than 70 people, including fellow members of the Cleveland Orchestra and women who took lessons, the orchestra fired Prusil, along with principal trombonist Massimo La Rosa, both accused of years of serious sexual misconduct during their employment. In the 12 page report from the orchestra's independent investigation, 12 women accused Prusil of misconduct, including using his position of power to engage in sexual activity, requesting payments for lessons in the form of sexual favors, and exposing himself. Massimo La Rosa. Meanwhile, seven women accused La Rosa of misconduct, including kissing a student against her will and unwanted sexual contact. It was frustrating to feel attacked for trying to stand up for people. La Rosa's firing feels like vindication to Kate Allen. Last year, her husband, University of Iowa trombonist Jonathan Allen, spoke out on social media about La Rosa's alleged sexual misconduct involving one of his students. In turn, La Rosa sued Allen for defamation. The lawsuit also came when after 13 years of marriage, a miracle. It was a complete surprise. He, we were told we'd never be able to get pregnant. But she says the stress of the lawsuit added to her pregnancy complications and robbed her of what should have been the most joyful time when baby Sayer was born. You know, my husband had this insane guilt. He felt like he had ruined our family with this. And still, they harbor no regret for speaking out for women. To be able to stand up for what's right, I think is what I really want to instill into my son. Meanwhile, the Cleveland Orchestra in response says it has toughened its anti-harassment policy and also set up an independent confidential hotline for anyone to report misconduct anonymously. Sarah. Thank you, Lena.